Popcorn with Ileana Capayan. Popcorn is sponsored by Three Way Chevrolet. We asked you guys what the best Basque restaurant in town was and you guys delivered, which is why we're here at Wool Growers, one of the original Basque restaurants in Bakersfield. Let's go inside and check out what type of drinks and food they have to offer. We all know Basque food is all about gathering around the table, enjoying tradition, and enjoying time with family. But today, we're gathered right here at the bar. I'm joined by Christy Ann. Thank you so much for having us today. Sure, of course. So tell me a little bit about Basque food and the tradition of Basque food here in Bakersfield. Well, um, you know, a lot of Basque immigrated to uh, California, and one of the big immigration spots was here in Bakersfield. And here in East Bakersfield, there was a train track, so they would come right off the train and um, they would go to the boarding houses, which were Noriega's and Pyrenees. And so my grandmother came here and um, she decided she wanted to open her own restaurant. So we're still here in East Bakersfield and we continue to serve fast food. These are her recipes. And so that's kind of what we continue to do here in Bakersfield and everybody loves the whole family style dining. What yes. will we be trying? Normally when you come here, you're of course gonna start off with Pyrenees French bread, which is a local bakery, Bass Bakery here. And there's always um, the vegetable soup, beans and salsa, and then you get a green salad, a tomato salad, and then you can order an entree. Some of our most popular, the two most popular dishes are our garlic fried chicken. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Is that garlic on there? Yeah, it's really good, huh? Wow. And then it was just so crunchy, you could hear it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it. Mm. And then our scampi. Um, and then a lot of people like to try um, the pickled cow's tongue. Now, do people get weirded out by the pickled tongue? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they totally do. So it's it's an acquired taste. Okay. I would say probably about 50% of the people like it and 50% don't. You know what? I love it. Good. I'm one of the ones that loves it. I'm telling you, either you love it or you're like totally disgusted by it. Now, a tradition, you know, you said you're third generation yes. owner of this spot. Yes. But mm -hmm. another thing that makes you guys so unique is the fact that you guys also welcome people to eat at the bars. Yes, that's um, kind of new. We do lunch and dinner. You can sit here at the bar. Um, we have two bars, one in the front and one in the back. And um, sometimes people just want to, you know, like, shooting without a reservation and something like that. So we encourage them that if we don't have any tables, hey, we've got a spot here at the bar and our bartenders can take care of you. And, um, you know, it's just been kind of something since COVID, we've kind of changed, um, altered um, things that we didn't do traditionally in the past. So that's kind of something new for us. Now, we've all heard lots about the food, people are ranting and raving about it, but the drinks are also you. Correct, How yes. those drinks? Well, we're um, very well known for um, the pecan punch, which we'll have um, JC make that here in a little bit. Um, but we have a new drink that's been really popular here in East Bakersfield. It's called the Basque Mule. So it's a, a little spin on the Moscow Mule. That sounds delicious. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to yeah. that. We're going to make it three drinks. We're going to make a pecan punch. Okay. We're going to make a calimocho. Cali and then we're going to make a Basque Mule. So what makes it Basque? It's the liqueur. Okay. That's an orange flavor liqueur. Okay. You tell me when. Okay. Oh, we're just going to keep pouring. A little bit more. Don't be cheap. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to grab a, a ginger beer here, and then you take a lime. And it's a basque meal. And it takes a, it requires a taste. By the time during, you drink three or four of those, you like them. <laughs> so let's take okay, it. let's see. <laughs> mm. Ooh, it's spicy. Yes, that's a basque meal, OK? OK. And we've been, selling, we've been selling a lot of those here. The basque meal. Uh, Cheers to that. Now, okay. we're going to make a pecan punch now, OK? You take a glass like this. And then you gotta drop a couple drops of grenadine right here. Okay. Show you here. It's like this, enough. Okay. And then this is again the orange flavor liqueur here. Okay. And then you add some soda water. Okay. And you gotta beat it up a little bit. And then you gotta put a brandy float, okay? Oh my goodness. All right. And then you take a squeeze of lemon there. That's a pecan punch. Ooh. And, you drink it. and that, that's the best part. Listen, you stay being the bartender. I'll just taste all your drinks. I can do that. Ooh, the lemon had some nice flavor uh -huh, in there. Yes, yeah. This is good. Pecan punch. Next one. Now we're going to make a, a calimocho, okay? Calimocho. This is a cheap drink, you know, I grew up with. Okay. Because I've been drinking wine since I was five years old. Okay. So, okay. All right. so you take a wine. 
pouring the wine. I'm good at this. And now you take a Coke. And now you take a lime. Okay. Squeeze a lime. Okay, we'll drink it. Now I drink it? Drink it. Listen, JC, you say the words <laughs> and I will do it. Ooh, this can get you into trouble. <laughs> this is good. That's, this is that's really good. That's the whole good. point. Dude. That's the whole point. <laughs> Do you feel like you got to bring kind of the Basque tradition with you and in, into these drinks? Well, yeah, that's all, that's all I know, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm Basque, and we to have wine on every meal. Every meal? Every meal. Oh my goodness, I need to go to the Basque country. See, Basque meal, Basque uh, meal with no wine is like a day with no sunshine. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness.